Good afternoon, White Group. This is your reading class for days three and four. And today's reading story is called Race Cars. You can find it in your packet. It's page 29. Go ahead and get that out along with your whiteboard and we'll get started. All right, let's write our review words. It's the best place to start. The first review word today is driver. Driver. And this is easy because it's got a drive right in. That's the little word and the big word, of course, it's part of the word. And then that ER makes it somebody who does that. So a driver drives. So drivers. And drivers are people who steer cars. The next word is skill. S K I L L. And we've got blend, a double consonant, and a short I, skill, just it full, skill. Skill is a thing a person can do, a person can do well, which may be your skill is woodworking or um, making a craft or crocheting, it's a uh, blessing. What is your skill? Do you have a skill? What are some things you're very good at? Next word is speed. S P C E D. And this one has that blend at the beginning. It's got a double vowel and then it's got a consonant. Speed. Speed. And speed is the rate at which a thing moves. How fast something is moving. The last one is rack. P R A C K. Wow, we're doing all those blends today. Here's another one. And a short vowel. I had two blends in this word. Rack. Letters that make one sound is a blend. And the track is a road used to race on. And here we go with our reading. We're going to, first thing says to write a prediction. You know how to do this. I'm going to let you do this on your own. Has to be in words. Has to be in your handwriting. Okay. Um, have mom or dad listen to what you want to write. They'll write it on your board. You can write it on the page for me. Okay. Has to be your words. So your prediction. Base it on these things. Stop the video. Come back. Welcome back. Let's read the story. Car racing is an exciting and dangerous sport. It tests the speed of cars and the skill of drivers. There are two kinds of car racing. One kind is the track race. In the Another kind of race is the road race. In the road race, the cars drive on roads with hills, curves, and corners. Track races are faster than road races. Why might that be? Why would track races be faster? Think about the road and all the things that can be in a road. Stop signs, corners hills, 
So you've got all different kinds to deal with in a, in a road race versus a track race, which is just flat, circle, oval, that you just around and around and around. During a car race, cars stop in the pit. The cars get new tires in the pit. Cars get the engines checked in the pit. The pit workers are very fast at fixing cars. If you've ever seen a race on TV, one of my favorite things to watch is the pit crew, the people that actually change the tires. They, the driver pulls into the pit and all of a sudden there are four people right ready to do the tires. And they, they're all changing the tires at the same time and checking things and wiping things off. It's very cool. It's very fast. You can watch people work that fast. The first car to cross the finish line gets the checkered flag. The driver sometimes wins money. If you'd like to race cars, it's a dangerous sport. It is, but it's a fun one to watch on TV. And people are very skilled. A lot more skilled than I am. Look on the back. What is question one? Number one choices are A. Many dangerous sports. B. Car racing. C. Driving fast. Or D. Fixing cars. And number one says, What is most of this story about? You think it's about many sports, car racing, driving fast, or fixing cars before your answer on that one. Number two choices, on roads with hills, B, on an oval track, C, on city streets, or D, on a railroad track. And question two says, where do cars drive in a track race? Well, one of the clues is right in the name, track race, because people know. But if you're still not sure, don't be afraid to go back in the text and look it up. The clue words are going to be track. Track race, if you can find that, that will give you your answer. Number four choices. The seed inside a plum. A place to stop and fix cars, or C, big holes in the ground, or D, a place that is dirty. <laughs> All those are definitions for the word pit, but one of those pertains to this story. The others have to do with different stories in different situations. So, what does pit mean in this story? The seed inside a plum, a place to stop and fix cars, a big hole in Ground or a place that is dirty. Go ahead and circle your choice. And number four choices. A. The car going too fast. B. The car going into the pit. C. The car going too slow. Or D. The car that went. <coughs> Here's our number four question. Which car gets the checkered flag? And at the end of the story, they talked about the checkered flag and what it means. What does it mean? Who gets the checkered flag? The cars that goes too fast, the one going into the pit, the one goes too slow, or the one that wins. Good job. I know you did a good job on that. That was a good story. Question says, how are road races and track races alike. Now, in your story, I want you to go back and read this this time. We've done it together up to this point, but it's time for you to start working on this on your own. You're going to go back into the story and you're going to think about the ways that they are alike. What do the cars do in a track race and a road race? It might help you to draw one of these. You remember this? This is that Venn diagram. These are the things that are 
different about them and do the things that are the same about them. And it wants to know what is the same? How are they alike? So we might call this one track race. And we call this one road race. And right in here are the ways they are alike. So what you put in that center area is going to show how track races and road races are alike. You remember, this is called a Venn diagram. All right, now, then the last one asks you to write a retell of race cards where you're going to tell a friend about it. Oh, I forgot to back up. This one should be in words, please. In words in your words, in your handwriting. Have this you can say it and then write it down. That's cool. But no picture on this one, please. But you can do a picture on the bottom one when you do your retail. But it's still okay to do a picture because it's a different way for me to understand what you're thinking and it's a fun way for you to tell me what you're thinking. I can do a picture on this. It works great. If you'd rather do words don't, that's okay. You've still got your names going, and you've got your um, dictation. You know, have your parents take a dictation for you and go from there. Okay, that's it for race cards. Nice job today. Take care, white group. Mwah.